record it? Oh yeah. Uh, come on. Oh, it's a bit dangerous. Let's go down this way. What's your favourite thing about Papaya? Oh, the old world charm. What's your least favourite thing about Papaya? Sometimes the heat. Oh, I thought you were going to say how many times we've been here. No, 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 no. It does get a bit slow after 10 days. We yes. Been here for that long in ages. No. But after about ten days, you feel a bit mental. I think that, that that one would just go and jump on a train and go to other places now. Yeah, but we could do that next week before Ben gets here. We yeah, could. Oh, I suppose we've got one to choose the way to do it. We. Yeah, we could decide where to go. Just go to La Mezzia and see what. What else, Luigi? Is La Mezzia worth going to? Yeah. Okay. Good I'm just recording you. Am I doing the right thing here? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Bobby, no. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Bobby, she, she, wants, she loves she, you. <laughs> Let her love you. Yeah, she does. Yeah. It's because I'm not. Because you I'm don't love her. I don't have a, a big. A, 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 we can see. We can see it. Uh, can you see it? Yeah. Get to see it. It's um. That's the the living room. Look at that. With the the entrance from the. Uh, street is yeah. this way. Uh -huh. That's the entry door. Oh. That's the hall inside there. Yeah. And you come in into the living room. Yeah. And beyond this uh, columns, there's a kitchen. Oh, wow. Between this columns and the facade, uh -huh. that looks over the garden glass. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that's the kitchen. And these are the two minstrels. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. We're on our way to have coffee before we go to the beach. Can it hear you? Yes, it can hear me. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's got a wrong dude camera. That's why she reacted like that. Um, I'm really hungry, but the, the breakfast options are slim. Slim pickings, isn't it? You don't want a pastry, which I don't really. No. Although Luigi did say he found someone that did a full English. <laughs> she was very happy with that. Which way are we going? Oh. It's hot already. Oh, <laughs> doesn't like Polly so well does not doesn't like but no, not, not at one with dogs and so Polly loves mom more, <laughs> more than anybody else I like pogs pogs I was gonna say Polly and dogs but she doesn't want to come to me because I like her <laughs> because she doesn't like her she has to be with her all the time so I think I'm not looking at them <laughs> oh and she just got really told off by Luigi <laughs> you're in trouble you're in the dog house no Okay, we're all calm. All calm. Be calm. Be calm. I just got a call from. Uh... Hello, everybody. I look like a greasy car salesman because I've got some of the Philip Kingsley elasticizer on my hair, which my hairdresser told me to get to keep all my hair healthy when I'm in the sunshine. So I've slathered that on. And I've just got a big Uniqlo shirt on flip flops. Mum was just saying how much she loves Martin's nice t shirt. I think they're doing some nice t shirts, I think. Just a shapes, viewers, and this is the straight. I have a look. And a decent length, you see? Yeah, this is a good length. It's what I like. And they said, yes, they're doing this is straight, they do like regular, etc. etc. Mm. Yes. I might have a look. I do like their cashmere. Um, we're just on our way to the beach. And we're going to have lunch there again and then Ben gets here late tonight. So we've got the whole day. <laughs> but I'm on my third book. I'm on my second book. I've been listening to podcasts. Will you just so. hold this quickly? I'll tell people about the books really quickly. Oh, okay. Can you? oh no, something's just flashed red like it's not got any. It's fine. Oh. You know, it's recording, that's what the oh. question goes to me. The first book I read was How Do You Like Me Now by Holly Bourne. And How Do I Like You Now? Not That Much. A four out of ten, if that. Oh, Polly. We had like interesting, relatable things about how she experienced social media, but it was just very. Nah. And then I read uh, this, 
just kids, uh, Patty Smith, which is one of the best books I've ever, ever, ever read. I absolutely love this. You don't have to be a Patty Smith fan to enjoy this. It was amazing, it was so interesting and so well written. The only thing I'd say about it is that there is a huge amount of names to keep up with, but it was very, very interesting. And now I am started on. It's in the bag. No, it's not, unless you just put it in the bag. The what the? Oh, it's here. Oh. This Notes to Self by Emily Pine, which is a series of short essays, which I'm very much enjoying. So what I was telling you about last night, Mum, about her things in her life. It's not essays in the wrong way, they're just short stories. I really like that. And then when I finish this, which will be later today, I'm going to move on to Call Me By Your Name, which we've been oh. meaning to read for ages, but it seemed fitting to do so in Italy. Oh, okay. Do you want me to tell them about what I've been reading? Yes. Let's swap. Right. I I read, because I like trashy thrillers that are easy to read, and I love Harlan Coburn, and I really enjoyed this and read it very quickly. And did you enjoy it the second time you've read it? Yeah, because I can't think if I have read it twice, but there was a certain familiarity to it. Mum picks so. up books and reads the first chapter and goes, I think I've read this. So it's an age thing, but I can't remember what you've read anymore, unless they're really... I remember I'm reading it. So now I'm also on to a Sally... Sally Rooney. Rooney. This one, which is from my book club book, yeah. which I'm enjoying, but it's a bit of a slow read for me because uh, yes. we've not got the thriller pace going on. It's all very relationship. -y. I've also got that one with me and conversations with friends. Yeah, I think these are going to be very much my kind of books. Oh, about you? No, I know, but I just was okay. Yes, but it's nice. It's very beautifully written and well observed, as it yes, but um, a bit of a slow read for moi. So I'm also listening to podcasts. Shrink next door. I recommend. Enjoy. Very nice. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I don't think we'll get split up. Yeah. <laughs> How is it? It's good. Can you see what you're filming? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I'm filming you. It's got a little screen on it. Mm-hmm. Wait, can you see? Oh, yeah. Come on. There's so much obby stuff with this. Like these it's things. really oh. wide angle, too. And really, it has a really good stabilizer in it. Is this good? Is, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Real good team. Right. Hi. <laughs> yeah, good to go. G to G. Do you want your cards? No. No? Yeah. Well, the small one's a hob and then the other one's a Yeah, that's a hob. Just to tell the people where we are. Where are we, darling? Paul and James. Paul and James. My viewers have been here many a time with me. Have they? They have. How lucky. Oh. They've got some new features. That's really fired up a minute because we're going to have mini hamburgers. <gasps> oh. Mini to start. Oh dear. <laughs> You're gonna pour yourself a beer. <laughs> Never. As I've said before, this is designed by Luigi. And it is ugly as sin. This bit's new, they call it the pub garden, because they got a beer pump put in just there, to where Ben is. Orange, some, some reason in orange is right about January, mm. which is a bit weird. It's a strange time. Yeah, you think so? Hello. 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 Last woman. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I don't know. Actually, I think Paul might have taken. It. I think he might be on the arm um, spritz. Such a, such a great bloke. So charismatic. Very. I the definition I thought, of. I thought I had some. I thought I had some chat. Oh. Paul, then I met Paul. You don't often meet people that are charismatic. You look very ripped, by the way. Do I? Yeah, you really do. I think I'm just malnourished. Oh, you heck. Honestly. 
isn't it? This whole vlog is just up me looking at that camera going, isn't it? You should do something with GoPro, babe. Would GoPro ever want to do it? You're not, you're not really their brand. Like, so off brand. They're kind of more extreme sportsy kind of things, aren't they? I'll climb a steep hill. I mean, what's going on right now? Like the, the amount, the way that you're eating right now is kind of an extreme sport. Thank you. Yeah. 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 How's it been with your mum here? Good. Yeah. That's nice. That's zero falling out. Do you have a like a ratio that you usually apply to like days or like days per falling out kind of thing? No. I mean. Sometimes we get on each other's nerves in five minutes, mm. sometimes five days. Right. And we, we've annoyed each other at points, but we've both bitten it down. Gotcha, because you know. And then we're British. Yeah. And you're British. You only show emotion, emotions to horses and dogs. Why would you ever talk about your feelings? Because feelings need to be spoken about. The rest of us, we would put it somewhere in a cupboard. Until you found four of them. All, yes, that you've bought every single Christmas for the past right. four years. Like bar rows. Yeah. <laughs> and screwdriver kits. <laughs> nice girl. Always. I hate my as well. <laughs> What do you mean? You don't want Aperol this early in the morning, Anne? Aperol in my tea in particular. It's a real treat. No, I'm okay for the moment, darling. You know what? I tried to just imagine here. And sweetie, we're making a cup of tea, but I'll have a memory. Well, there's not. I've met. Well, how bad is it? What have we done with it? No, it's bad. I put it back in between your feet. I'll have. No, no, no. Don't throw, don't throw anything out. I will have whatever is not being consumed. Black tea? Yeah, perfect. Love okay, it. Okay. Great. Thank you so much, darling. You're so considerate. Did you find anything here? Oh, this room will be such a sound, very genuine. I don't know why you put the off milk back in the fridge, really. <laughs> 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 Look at how gross that was. Oh, no. Did you see that? Yeah. Just gave us a drink. Yeah. He, said, he said, doing like building his house for him, so he pays me in drugs. Oh, okay. It's your uncle. Fair enough. Um, we're going on a boat today. Oh, a boat, yeah. a boat, and this is a view of Trapea from the port. And this is a view of Ben. Slippery, slippery. Um, um, yeah, we have a boat, which is one of Luigi's favorite things to do. And we're excited to jump in off the boat. And I'm gonna try and be brave enough to do a dive. Oh, you'll do it. You'll definitely do because you're not scared of it. You're not, you, you won't be scared of it. It's high up the boat. When you get to the tip of it, you, you're like, oh. Have you been on this boat before? I, I, yes, I think so. Unless it's a different one to what we normally go on. What kind of boat is it? Does it have a mast or is it a motorboat? Does it have one of these big stick things sticking out? I know what does it not have one of those? I know what one of those is. It? I can't remember if it has that. I think it does have that. No, it's pretty big. But I don't. We've literally just walked back to the front. I didn't want to say anything, but do we carry that? I'm good, thank you. Sure. Yeah, thank you. You're so baby. You're so baby. Oh, baby. 
Have you got there, darling? Sitting there, watch the view. Oh, yeah. We're in Sicily. I switched off for a bit, didn't we? Yeah, which was lovely, though. I'm excited to edit all the video. I'll sit down and talk to the people. We're in Sicily. The people, this is how she addresses everyone. My people. They're your peeps, indeed. Um, in Sicily, in a villa, we've come here on our own, just the two of us. We can make it really dry. <laughs> <laughs> and where are we near? 20 minutes from Sheffalu. Here's Sheffalu. So Sheffalu is down there, somewhere. And yeah, we have. We what did you think of where you've been to Trippé before? But we left Trippé, left Mum, not there, she went back home. And you didn't lock her in a cage. We didn't and abandon her. And now we're here for a whole week and it's a very beautiful but an amazing villa in the hills. It's so lovely. I'll show you more of the pool tomorrow when we're back in there. Yeah. I've been learning to dive, which I'll show, show them all my skills. Ben rated my diving a 7 out of 10 and I will give it to a 10 out of 10. I, sorry, week. let's be clear. The last dive you did was a 7 because yeah. you were getting lazy, but you definitely got an 8.5 up there. I didn't know that. Mm. Well, um, and what else? I booked this this villa through a website called Thinking Traveller. It wasn't, I haven't got this for free or it's not been discounted or anything. But I just wanted to really recommend the website generally. And tonight we've got um, a cook who's come and it's part of the thing, it's additional cost, but you can. They send all these experiences and add-ons on the book. Um, so this was one of them and they bring all the ingredients. Um, and it's 70 euros, which I think is really reasonable. So reasonable. So, and you, pick, you don't get to pick the food, but they just messaged me and said, do you want vegetarian meat or fish? So we've done one meat night and one vegetarian night. Oh, dream. This is obviously meat night because there's meat on there. Um, to but, be fair, Elizabeth has been doing the brunt of the cooking outside of that. She cooked a ripping omelette this morning. I did. I'll show them tomorrow if I do you another one. Oh yeah, let's do another omelette. Um, do you, oh, we need more eggs. Yeah, let's do that. We can do that tomorrow. Oh, no, we could do, we could have a two egg omelette each. It was a pretty big omelette. So we can have two eggs in it. Because we've got four eggs. Oh, four eggs. Um, but yeah, I really recommend the website. And they send you like a big pack about the villa and everything to do in the area. And they email you everything. And then they give you a phone number to text. And the ladies in the circle are texting back, hasn't she, about anything? Amazing. They've been phenomenal. So I would just, I'll leave a link to them. And like I said, this isn't sponsored or anything like that. I've paid for this. So there's no discount on it. Um, so there's no promise of me mentioning it like I am. But I just genuinely really recommend it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they have, I think they have just European villas. I think, I don't think it's all over the world. Don't know, darling. I do recommend. I do recommend. And I don't, like I recommend Elizabeth to make you. An Aperol spritz because she makes a ripping Aperol spritz. So many skills. Mm. Lots of them do pay the bills. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the dinner that she's cooked an amazing pasta, some um, aubergine, bruschetta, pud, cheese, pud. olives, <laughs> <laughs> melon, sausage. Unknown, but intriguing. <laughs> Pan. Pan. Ben. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. Yeah. Is how the Italians say it. Indeed, darling. Indeed. Uh, we are walking. We've come to one of the eastest parts of... East? The westest parts of Italy. The most western. Of Sicily. Wow, I'm really having a balls up. Uh, oh, shit. I don't know which way to go here. Um, all right. Surely down towards the water. Una memento. I should keep talking to you guys while Ben was sick. We went to Palermo this morning, but it was frankly too hot to even function really, wasn't it? So now 
now we've come by the sea, which is beautiful. It is lovely. Uh, and Let's, and we should be down it, towards the water as well. Right. We've got some road beers, yep. some tomatoes, travelers. some travelers, some fruit, some crisps, some cheese, and some ham for a picnic. And we're going to stop at this first beach, and then the second beach is an hour walk away. So we're going to stop and lighten the load of our bags by eating a good portion of it. Um, is this just taking us down to this little seating area a bit, babe? We arrived, baby. We made it. We made it. We've made it. Very sweaty. It's not a bad little spot. All right, time for beers. Beer, beer, beer. beer. What you doing, bub? Making breakfast. Oh, you absolute queen. Talk us through the, talk us through the thoughts behind the, uh, the recipe, Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> it's a um, three egg omelette for you. I have two eggs. Um, with some parmesan and some chipola that we bought in Trapeo, which is the best onion in the world. And then tomato, and then you have ricotta and oregano, but I don't have that because I don't really like the you're crazy, girl. I'm crazy. And then I have a coffee. Do you make me every single morning? This is our little morning routine, isn't it? It is. It's been really lovely. Where's my wooden spoon? Oh, what? <laughs> Am I? I think we left it in the bedroom. <laughs> Hello, you guys. It is um, Wednesday. It's very hard to know what day of the week it is when you're on holiday. Um, and we have just been reading our books at home. I finished Call Me By Your Name yesterday and I absolutely loved it. It was even more beautiful than the film is, so it was so, so good. And I've just started reading Sapiens, which Ben bought for me. And I've also just found here on the bookshelf The Book Thief, which I'm now going to make Ben read because this is a brilliant book. I love that book so much. Um, today we're going to go to the local town where we're staying. We went to Palermo yesterday. Um, I think I've said something this already, then went and swam in that bit of the really secluded beach that you saw, which was lovely. Um, and yeah, today we're going to go to the local town called Colisano. I'll write it on the screen. Um, we're going to go for some lunch there, have a wander around there. And then again, we have the chef coming tonight to cook for us again. So tonight's our vegetarian meal. You just pick veg, meat or um, fish. So we're having vegetarian tonight and I can't wait. Um, and we'll get some drinks and have a few drinks. Um, I'm in full holiday mode. I can't believe that we've only got two more nights here. It's been just so, so, so amazing. I can't remember what footage I've filmed and what I haven't, which is a really nice feeling because we just feel like I've been, both of us have been picking up the camera and whatever, it feels really nice and not feeling like something over my head um, in terms of work because this was, wasn't a work trip or anything. So it's been lovely and I hope that because of that this video will really show what it's been like. But um, I feel like I can't remember if I showed you much of the um, villa. So I'm going to do that now. This is our little kitchen, our indoor kitchen. This is like an outdoor seating area. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's just humming with bees, which is amazing. And then here's an outdoor kitchen, which we've been using the most, I'm making omelets for us every morning. And I made us a NDF pasta last night, which was really good. Like proper um, pizza oven here, which we haven't used because we haven't been cooking anything like that. Oh my God. Sorry guys, the GoPro died. So I'm just back onto my usual Canon camera now. Um, I've been loving using the GoPro, but the battery life's dreadful. So seeing this footage literally side by side, because you'll just see this exact scene on the GoPro, do let me know which one you prefer. So I know which one you'd like me to use going forward. The GoPro is really wide angle. And I got it mostly so we could do underwater stuff, but it's really easy to use as well. The battery is just shocking. Anyway, that's our outdoor kitchen. And then, this is the outdoor seating area. We've been eating our dinner, which is just gorgeous. And you see like wild boar through here. And then, outdoor sofa area. 
which you can see is very old squished up with cushions because we've been reading this morning barbecue a view another view just doing a little tour because I couldn't remember if we'd done it already or not I don't think we have Ben's very tanned. I'm showing my uh, ironing room. And Ben's got an ironing <laughs> don't room, go which in there. I have. I'm not going it's to. It's terrifying. Don't it is really creepy in there. Creepy. Don't do it. I obviously haven't been in the ironing room once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ironing your clothes that you're wearing of mine, which is nice. <laughs> which will crease because I've been wearing them. Um, so then this is the. These are the views. And I'm just going to walk us down to the swimming pool together. That's the creepy ironing room he was just talking about. We don't need to go in there. Um, let's go down here. Sicily's beautiful. It's um, really different to the parts of Italy that I have been to already. I loved Palermo. Absolutely loved it. Like, can't recommend there enough. Loved Sheffield, but loved Palermo more because it felt so different to um, any other Italian town I've been to or even seen. Pictures of or anything. It was just beautiful. And here. Is the swimming pool. We haven't actually swum in for in a couple of days because we've been at the beach and we've been out and about all day exploring. But after lunch, we're going to spend the whole afternoon and into the evening here, which I can't wait for. And then, like I said, have dinner here. So we'll make the most of the pool again. But I'll show you my diving as well. Yeah, the views are gorgeous. And as you can imagine, in the evening, it's just beautiful. So, yes, really has been the loveliest, loveliest trip. Um, I'm so excited to edit this video together and see what all the footage is. I've been trying to film my outfits and just shoot film photos but not think about work too much as well which has been really nice. Um, and I'm gutted to leave but yeah, it's been beautiful. We'll go explore this town today um, which we've driven through and it's a really like classic Italian town built into a hilltop which the Italians just do so well. But Jesus Christ, it's hot. I'm only walking up a slight hill. I think I need another holiday just to recover from this hill. So the restaurant here in the tiny town. Which looks like this. It's so tiny. Um, and we had a carbonara that was for two people only. It was probably really good for four people. And Ben had a plate of meat and a salad and a large beer and a Diet Coke and two bottles of water and it was 32 euros. Ciao amore. Ciao. That means hello my love. Sorry? Does that mean hello my love? Ciao amore. Hello my love. Yes. Oh, you're getting so good. I am. Thank you. Thank you. Hola. Ciao. Como estas? Bene. Wrong country. Oh. We're in, back in Sheffalo. We went to the shops and bought these mini Campari sodas and I've become quite obsessed with them. And they can see the embossing of it and they're just brilliant. And we've cleverly under there we got like a cool bag and filled it with ice and we've got some cheese and some prosciutto and some bread and we're back at this spot because it was just the best bit of sea that we found in terms of how peaceful it is and how clean and lovely the sea is and we went for a dive off we go g'day just swam out to get a little bit of magic hour action Check this out. Oh, it's hard to see. How beautiful is this vista of Sheffield? Elizabeth is like, I mean, she's a speck here, but she's in there, in there working away. Isn't this just beautiful? How's the serenity? Okay, we're recording. Yeah. You got this, baby. He's gonna do it great.
Yes, oh baby Yes, oh baby Yes, oh baby Yes, oh baby. 